3 math number 51. Division is the opposite of multiplication. It's the inverse operation. Let's take a look at this. When you've got 18 divided by 6, it equals 3. You can turn this around and go this direction and say 3 times 6 equals 18. See? 18 divided by 6 is 3. That's an inverse operation. That means multiplication undoes whatever division does. And division can undo whatever multiplication does. They're the opposites of each other. Look at this one. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. Again, it's the inverse operation. On this one, it goes this way. And it's going that way on the multiplication one. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. 6 times 4 equals 24. 16 divided by 8 equals 2. 2 times 8 equals 16. See? 24 divided by 8 equals 3. 3 times 8 equals 24. It goes this way. And then it goes that way, see? 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. 30 divided by 5 equals 6. And 6 times 5 equals 30. One last one. 28 divided by 7 equals 4. And 4 times 7 equals 28. So here's what we're doing. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. We have 6 dots. We've divided it into 2 groups, and there's 3 in each group. We could also say that we have 3 2 times, and that equals a total of 6. Same with this one. We have 16 dots. And we divided it into two groups with 8 in each group. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. We could also say that we have 8 here and 8 here, so we have 8 two times, and 8 times 2 is 16. We have 5 and 5, which is 10, so we have 10 dots divided into two groups, 1, 2. And there's 5 in each one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 10 divided into 2 is 5. Or we could say we have 5 2 times. 1 time, 2 times. 5 times 2 is 10. So inverse operations are things that undo each other. Subtraction is the inverse of addition. Division is the inverse of multiplication. That's what inverse operations are. And this is how division can undo multiplication. When you do your multiplication or division homework and you want to check it to see if it's right, do the inverse operation. If you're dividing and you want to make sure you did the division problem right, try multiplying it and seeing if you come up with the same answer. That's a way to check your homework. See you next time.